Many derivative sauces can be made by modifying the flavorings of a basic hollandaise sauce. The technique is exactly the same, the only difference is in the flavorings. Many derivative sauces are made by simply altering the flavor of the gastride. The sauce can be started with the gastride or finished with it. A variety of citrus juice and citrus zest can be used to make the reduction. A classic example of this is sauce maltese, which uses blood oranges. This sauce is often served over fish. Other flavorings can be added once the hollandaise has been made. For example, sauce mousseline is made by folding in whipped cream just before serving. In this case, add a touch of whipped cream and mix to loosen up the hollandaise. Then fold in the rest of the whipped cream. Lastly, test for seasoning. This sauce is often served with fish and goes very nicely with vegetables. A well-known variation is the classic sauce bernaise. The gastrite is made by reducing a good white wine vinegar with shallots, plenty of coarsely cracked peppercorns, and fresh tarragon. Once made, the sauce is most often finished with additional fresh tarragon for added color and flavor. Bernays is such a popular sauce that it actually has its own derivatives. For example, a classic sauce choron is finished with tomato puree or tomato concasse. This sauce is beautiful over fish. Knowing how to make a hollandaise gives one a true appreciation for the importance of mother sauces. Once you understand the technique of making hollandaise, you will have the freedom to create and treat yourself to many other delicious sauces.